52 degrees right now, rain in 56 today. Are you ready? I am so ready. Will, are you there? Will? Yo, what the deal, baby? Hey. <laughs> What's going down? How you doing? Man, it's all gravy. Wow. Will Smith. Holy cow. In the house. Wow. <laughs> Good morning. Good morning. What's the deal? It's our very special mystery guest that everybody has been wondering about for the last several days. Will Smith. Uh, in the house. <laughs> <laughs> the biggest star right now in the world. Yes. Wow. Grammy winner, Oscar nominated actor. Wow. And he owns the month of July at the box <laughs> office. Let's face it. Give it up. Will Smith is here. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> <laughs> the CD is available today. How Absolutely. Lo- lost and found. Lost and found. Go buy three copies. That's what I always say. Yeah, absolutely. Mm-hmm. One for the house. One for the car and one for that special someone. That's exactly right. <laughs> yes, that's exactly right. So, I, of course, Switch is the new uh, the new single, which yep. is hot. We play it on the morning show all the time. Oh, yeah. Everybody thank loves you, thank it. You. I've been calling Switch. I've re- sort of referring to it as the, the anesthesia before the album. Really? Because I think people are, people are going to be really surprised Ooh. at some of the topics that I chose to address on this album. You know, it's like the title of the album, Lost and Found, is based on the idea that the rapper that I felt that I could have been was lost to the actor. Oh, really? You know? And so I feel like over the past few months being back in the studio and back with Jeff and traveling around and performing all that, that I've, so- I've found a new performer, you know, and just the things that yeah. I'm talking about, you know, I think that pe- people are really going, going to be surprised. Well, I was, I was on the Will Smith message board, and, and one person had said, wow, there's some controversy. What, what is this person referring to? Well, there, I mean, there's a, there's a couple tracks on, on the album. There's, there's uh, one, one called uh, Mr. Nice Guy, where I've, I kind of address, you know, the people over the past few years that have had negative things to say about me. And mm-hmm. under normal circumstances, I, don't, I usually don't even get into it, but, yeah. you know, it's something that... that like as the line says in the in the record, it says, you know, some stuff a man can't allow, you yeah. know, and, yeah. and you know, it's I mean, it's it's uh it's aggressive for me, you know. It's, yeah. I think people will be uh, surprised at the the approach that I've taken. Well, why don't you just give Eminem a beatdown so he'll quit talking trash? <laughs> <laughs> No, it's, you know, it, it was, um, you know, with M, I think it was probably a uh, a misunderstanding. Really? More than anything, you know, <laughs> but, you know, I just I just addressed it briefly, you know. He addressed me briefly in his record, so I addressed him briefly in my. Now, Will, you always come across as a very centered person. You've got the family, you've got your career, but you know exactly what's important to you. And I have to say, I love watching you with Oprah. <laughs> you guys have this, you know, charisma together that is just exciting. Yeah, no, we, we, we have a good time. Hey, that's the first time I ever kissed a billionaire. Oh. Really? <laughs> <laughs> Woo! Uh-huh. <laughs> Will, how do you how do you keep it all together? I mean, you know, you were just kind of this funny, skinny kid from Philly, and then you turned into this hunko man. Oh yeah, yeah. And, and you've been so successful in both music and in film and, and producing your TV show. It seems like you have transcended a, a lot of limitations that I think that you know face other performers and artists. How, how did you do that, and then manage to be so centered at the same time? Uh, for me, the most important thing and the biggest question I always ask is, why do people want to see this? Why would people want to hear this? What will make people go buy this album? What will make people go to the movie theater? You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And, you know, I think a lot of times in entertainment, it gets to be about a lot of other things, Hmm. you know? So, you know, for me, I always, I view... The, the things that I put out as a part of a relationship that, you know, my, my fans and I, we have a relationship. So I don't, I don't necessarily look at it as trying to get paid. Yeah. You know, I look at it as nurturing a relationship. And Aww. I just, that, that perspective has always worked. You know, if this is somebody you care about, you know, would you put out an album that only had one good song on it? Yeah, I, I feel nurtured. <laughs> you do it. No, I just because I, I, I was nurturing you and I was trying to do it like <laughs> yeah. And believe me, he needs you know, to be without nurtured. You completely being able to feel it. Yeah. No. No. Ring my bell. Mm-hmm. <laughs> beat, beat Mike Tyson. Beat Mike Tyson. I yeah. feel nurtured. 
Absolutely. Oh, mm-hmm. Now, Will, you've turned down two very big things in your life. First, you turned down a scholarship to MIT, and then you turned down the role of Neo in The Matrix. What were you thinking? Yeah, well, with, with, with The Matrix, I, I just didn't, I didn't get it, you know, when they were pitching it. You, but you yeah. can't pitch The Matrix. That's yeah. okay. I don't get it either, but I'm, I'm told it's a girl <laughs> thing, so I don't know. Yeah, you know, the guy, so like they came in, you know, and the pitch was, okay, you're actually, the people are actually living inside the computer. <laughs> I was like, what? <laughs> right? And because they live inside the computer, you know, all gravity and, and, and normal physics can be suspended, but you have to know that you can suspend it in order to suspend it. <laughs> I was like, which, hmm, which okay, maybe why, cool. Yeah, which may be why you didn't go to MIT then. I uh, know, right? <laughs> No, I, 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 uh, I had some uh, pretty good uh, SAT scores. Wow. Uh, but I never really had any intention of going to college. I was, I was trying to make music, and that was my mother. She was traveling around. She worked for the school board of Philadelphia, so she was filling out all the applications <laughs> and calling all her college friends and all of that stuff to, to get me into, into a bunch of different places. See, and I was wondering about your success, and then I was reading your bio and, and saw that you had at least been accepted or scholarship to MIT. And I went, well, that's the reason why he's successful, because he's very, very smart. Yeah. You've got to be smart to, in order to kind of navigate the entertainment industry. Yeah, I mean, the... the the smartest guy always wins, you yeah. know, and that's to me that's that's one of the, the the patterns of the universe that that I've discovered. It's like whatever your issue is, somebody lived it before. Yeah, somebody experienced everything that you experienced. Somebody traveled, you know, ninety nine percent of the paths that you're going to travel in your life. So it's no need for it to be the first time for you. And it, it doesn't hurt to have nice pecs. <laughs> ah, nice pecs and the best ass in the business. Yeah, you know, I went to go see <laughs> iRobot, Will, and I was late to the movie and I missed the very first scene. <laughs> so I had to go back and watch it again. Oh, man. Yeah, that, that was, uh, I, I was... I was surprised at how women reacted to that. It was like... <laughs> Why are you surprised? No, no, it was like, it was, it was like, it was new though. It's like, I've been in shape for my last five movies. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> you know? That's true. It seemed a little, it's, I mean, I don't know, what's, I, do you think you were in your best shape for iRobot? Because, I mean, you were in really good shape in all the other ones, but you seemed really in good mm-hmm. shape. Yeah, I'm not, I don't know. It just, I guess it was the way it was shot or something because Ali, I was in the best shape <laughs> Well, that's true. of my yeah. life, you that's know. That's true. But Ta- something about iRobot, you yeah. know, the whole naked shower scene just does something to me. <laughs> <laughs> Tell us about Ali. That had to be a life-changing situation as well. Oh, man, that, that, you know, to have the opportunity to work in that situation is to, to sort of quantify greatness and understand it and dissect it and all of that. You know, it's really, it was bittersweet, you know, to be able to, to walk those shoes for that year and a half working mm-hmm. on that film. You know, but, but to know that life will probably never deal me the cards to be that kind of great, you yeah. know. I have to ask you about your beautiful wife, Jada. She is like the perfect woman. Yeah, she is, you know, she's smart, she's mm-hmm. sexy, you know, she, I, I, I say she's a lot of woman. <laughs> you know, from the White House to the ghetto. She can, she can, she's comfortable from the White House to the ghetto. Can she, does she keep you in line or do you guys not have that kind of relationship? We, we are two individuals, you know, we, we've chosen to, to create an us, but mm-hmm. we, we feel very strongly that the success of a relationship is based on the, the, individual and separate strength of two individuals you know so it's not it's not a you know we we help one another and we've chosen to be together in our lives but we know that it's being an individual is the most important part of a relationship being a successful individual so um, you guys have busy careers how much time do you actually get to spend together is it enough uh oh yeah we i mean the beauty of the music uh, i'm sorry the, uh, the movie business is you work you know four or five months out of the year and then you know the rest of the year you're at home getting on each other's nerves (laughs) (laughs) will smith's uh, cd is available right now it's brand new the new song is called switch the cd is called lost and found remember you buy three copies Mm -hmm. three copies three copies give it up for will smith we got speed round (laughs) speed round questions right now will uh, what's your favorite rock band the favorite rock band Mm -hmm. wicked wisdom your preference guacamole or salsa Salsa. Best advice anyone's ever given you on life? Uh, don't let your wins go to your head. Don't let your losses go to your heart. Who's tougher, Shark Tale's Oscar or Finding Nemo's Dory? Uh, 
uh, Shark Tales Oscar will will uh, whoop everybody's ass. <laughs> in- <laughs> How much money have you blown on a gift for Jada? On a single gift. Single. Actually, you know, it's really interesting because it goes the the other way. Like Ooh. when you have money and you have a woman that goes out and can earn her own money, you kind of got to go the other way. Oh, so go you gotta, you gotta, They have things. to be creative and well yeah. thought out. So okay. it's it's not really big money gifts. It's like creative stuff, like a massage, right? Like a massage. Well, the timing of it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. What actor would you be a little jealous of if Jada had to kiss him on screen? Uh, The Rock. Oh, the Rock. Oh, <laughs> good answer. Very good. <laughs> One more for you. Your favorite movie that you ha- were not in? It's gonna be terrible because I'm gonna sound like some kind of freak. <laughs> the the, uh, the bridge on the river Kwai. Oh, that's a good one. You're not okay. a freak. Okay, a cool. Movie. All right. I just say, people, like, what? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, he is the biggest star on the planet. Give it up for Will Smith! Yeah! yeah.